Congress heading home for the weekend after disarray among the Republicans in the House. But the Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus says that it has come up with a proposal in hopes of avoiding a government shutdown next week. Joining us right now with the details is New Jersey Democrat Congressman Josh Gottheimer. He co-chairs the Problem Solvers Caucus, which, again, is a bipartisan group. Uh, Congressman Gottheimer, welcome. What, what do you have in mind as, as a way to try and avert this shutdown? Well, the Problem Solvers Caucus, which, as you know, is a bipartisan group of 64 members, 32 Democrats and 32 Republicans. We agreed on a plan this week, which would actually keep the lights on in the government, which is critical through January 11th. So it gives a continuing resolution to avoid a shutdown, which we believe makes zero sense for the country, be very damaging to families, our military, veterans, seniors. Uh, so anything we could do to just make sure we can have this debate properly uh, instead of shutting the government down. It includes resources for Ukraine, as the president requested, as well as for disaster relief. It includes a debt and deficit commission, uh, and bipartisan border security. So we believe this is the best way forward to actually get Democrats and Republicans together. And as you know, we're going to need a bipartisan solution, given that we've got a divided government. And, and right now, it's clear the far right is just trying to steer us into a path of oblivion. Uh, as Kevin McCarthy said, they're literally trying to burn the place down. Uh, and, and that is not what's best for our country. Some of the things you just mentioned sounded like some of the plans that were in the Republican plan to begin with, whether that be some of the border control issues, uh, the debt and deficit panel to discuss all of this at a later date. Um, so it does sound like you're blending the two sides, the Ukrainian funding that the president's asked for. Is there a chance that you could get leadership from either side on this? I mean, this would require somebody agreeing to bring it to the House floor. Would, would Speaker McCarthy do that? Well, that's the real question overall, right? Is, is he willing to bring something to the floor that can get both sides, which is, uh, you know, as, as you know, essential if you're going to get a piece of legislation out of the Democratic Senate and out of the Democratic White House, you're going to have to bring a piece of legislation that can get Democrats and Republicans, just like we did with the debt ceiling, which I was involved with, right? You brought both sides to the table. And, and that's the real question. You know, right now, uh, the Speaker has not been willing to bring a more bipartisan measure to the floor. We've got a bill now that we hope to be able to get to the floor next week that can really bring Democrats and Republicans together, uh, get the votes that are necessary, and actually you know, keep the lights on the government functioning instead of putting our military at risk and our veterans at risk and seniors, which you but, know, shutting down But if down he brings government. it to the floor, does he risk losing his job? I think what's very clear uh, by all his extremists on the far right is that none of them want him to have the job anyway. They're going to keep coming at him no matter what he does. Right. So, you know, the question that the speaker is going to have to consider is, do you want to govern? Do you want to function and keep our country functioning? Uh, or do you want to keep, you know, pandering to the extreme right? Right now, that's not been a great option for him. It took him, you know, they, they held him up 15 rounds when he became speaker. All they do is uh, threaten him every single day and, and put our country at risk. So, that, that's really the question. Are they, is he willing to bring together, bring to the floor something more reasonable that can, that's common sense, or does he want to do something that's extreme and, and just keep blocking reason? You know, they, in the last couple of weeks, have voted down the extreme right and blocked the defense appropriations bill, like to support our military and our national defense. I and mean, that's how extreme they are. So, you know, he's just going to have to make a decision if he wants to get something done here or if he's just going to keep letting them block progress. Josh, do you think that there's a risk that, that, I mean, if Speaker McCarthy were to try to work with, uh, with Democrats, I mean, I have seen the the uh, satisfaction is a nice word for it, but um, sometimes the, the, the Democrats really enjoy watching something like this play out, and I keep reading comments from leaders of. Uh, from both the Senate and, and the, the House uh, on the Democratic side. And obviously, it, it's kind of enjoyable for them to watch McCarthy twist in the wind with things like this. So by the time that he finally does come to Democrats, are you going to give him anything, or will you just make it almost impossible? Will Democrats make it almost impossible for him to, to say it's a bipartisan plan? You're in the driver's seat. You're enjoying I this. I, I even think at some point that, that some on the left wouldn't even care if the government was shut down. If it really hurts the Republicans a lot, they'll, they'll be fine with that. Uh, let, me, let me tell you this, and it's a great point you're making. And, I'll, and the only people right now who are enjoying watching the government uh, come trying to come to a screeching halt and McCarthy hurt is his own party in the far right. I mean, 
I don't want all I want is the country to succeed and put the country first. And the, my colleagues in the Problem Solvers Caucus and those I work with um, want to make sure that the country operates and that we help people and then we make sure we, uh, our, our military gets paid and our veterans get what they need and our seniors and children get what they need. So I don't think watching the country suffer is anything that any of my colleagues that I know want. And you know you've got then that's this is why Kevin McCarthy talked about his own party saying they were trying to burn the place down the extreme right and and maybe that's what they want to do they want to see our country fail the only people who win in these instances are the, the government of China Russia right they, they like watching us fail as far as I'm concerned the only thing we should be doing is getting together Democrats and Republicans sitting at a table and trying to figure this out that's what we did this week in the problem solvers caucus but now we need the speaker to bring this bill to the floor let us vote on this bill keep the lights on in the government and have the we can have the debate all day long. We did it with the debt ceiling, as you know, and came out with a good bipartisan solution. We agreed to the levels of spending for the country. And now all you've seen happen is the extreme right block every decision we made, every agreement we've made uh, and, and literally try to, uh, as Kevin said, burn the place down.